Right then, welcome back to my channel. You join us on a bit of a wet Friday morning, but hopefully we will still be able to get some trench blocks down. So, we did get rained off yesterday, but before we did, we managed to see these black lines of tape on all the pins. We did manage to get our height the whole way around set up and then get all of these corners all the cuts done just so you can see all our bond is uh the right way so um yeah all we've got to do really this morning is get some muck on and uh get all these corners up so um yeah i'm gonna get out get that done and uh we'll uh, see how we go
Right, and there we go, everyone. It is 4.27, and we are finished for the day. So, me, Matt, Eli, and my brother, Ben, have just, well, me and Matt have been building all day. The other two have just been mixing up and uh, loading out tending. But um, yeah, we've got this flank through the front here done. All of the internal walls are set out. See, we've got all our wall ties poking. More wall ties. That's only a four inch wall, so we've only got two. But we've got all our um, drainage openings through. This one is a shallow one just because it's only a uh, small water pipe going through. But um, yeah, so we've got three courses up everywhere done today. And um, yeah, I think that's, well, nearly all of the trench blocks laid. We've got this small section to finish tomorrow, which me and Matt are gonna jump on while the others load out the rest of them blocks and have a bit of a clean up from all the cuts. So this is just three high running in because the wall, you can see there is inset 100 mil. So um, yeah, obviously we've got plenty of wall ties there. Plenty of wall ties there. So uh, yeah, we'll just run this through tomorrow morning. Then we will get a 100% mark out for all the internals to check that the beams fit. Because um, yeah, we got our beam plan through today. Just get that and we can have a look. So, here we go. So, we'll be setting out all these internal bearing walls tomorrow and getting the last of this trench box through. So, um, yeah, a bit of a hot one. I think it clocked up about 20 degrees. And um, yeah, we'll hard that on. That is uh, quite hot. But um, luckily, we have just got a new hard hat, so got rid of our generic one and got a nice vented one uh, makes all of the difference so um yeah good hit done today monday so hopefully tomorrow we'll get well we'll, we'll get all this done tomorrow and then hopefully a few of the internal walls sorted and then we've got more concretes to go up you can see the top of these pins here is the underside of our beam. So as you can see here, we're gonna have three courses of concrete to make it to the top. And as we step up, we will have two courses of concrete there and then one course at the top here. So we will be having more blocks delivered Wednesday. But um, yeah, apart from that, we are making good time and we won't be far away by the end of the week. So um, yeah, catch you all tomorrow.
Right, so that was another very productive and hot day. So we got the rest of the trench blocks in for the storeroom. And then we've got another whack of blocks uh, delivered this afternoon and just carried on loading everything out. And then um, we just went through and set out all the internal walls. So um, obviously um, Matt started building a little corner there ready for it. But um, so yeah, so we've got our 215 wall set here, this wall set here, and then the other two small walls set there. So um, yeah, all we got to do tomorrow is get the position set and then we can start flying. So um, yeah, we'll uh, catch up in the morning when we're laying. Right, so Wednesday morning and um, yeah, another nice and sunny day over here. Speak of the devil. So, um, yeah, got all the trench blocks finished yesterday, like you've seen. So, um, today we'll just be getting all of the internal walls up to this trench block height. And then after we've done that, then we'll hop back on the outside and get all these internal walls on top of the trench block up to bean height. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's get a mix on.
So we are back Thursday morning now and it is another scorcher. Perfect day for building. So this morning um, we had to do a sm small uh, alteration to some of the lintels on the far side which Matt's taking care of and um, I've just gone around bonded out all of the corners for the four inch internal block work for the beams to bear on. So um, yeah we're gonna get another mix on and start building them corners up and get the whole perimeter ran in. So um, yeah, I'll uh, finish my lunch and um, get out and lay some blocks.
right, so we are finally there. We've got the whole outside perimeter up to beam height, which is here. So tomorrow we've just got to get the internals up. So it's one course there, two there, two there, two there, and then two through the middle, which easy. So also quickly, just bedded a few blocks down because we're going to do a test panel for the staffy blue bricks for the client so um yeah you can just get a good feel because there is a staffy blue plimp going round obviously to the top of beam height and then it's swapping to the yellow sandstone bricks similar to those on them that house there so um yeah i'm gonna get my home get my home but too long on the job i'm gonna get myself home cleaned up and uh ready for tomorrow right only a quick update for friday because um we're splitting this day into another video but um all we've done really is had a clean up on the site stacked all our blocks here out the way ready for beams got a few well three pallets out of our five bricks delivered uh, a little mix up with the lorries but um yeah so we just went round, cleaned the whole of whole of the site, got everything tidied. Matt started with the internal block work, and you can see over there what I've been doing today is a few brickwork test panels, silver sand, pit sand, and grade A. Not sure if you can see, but there we go. So be a separate video building all them and explaining why we're doing it. But um, yeah, been quite a productive week um, so Monday everything will be ready for beams but unfortunately the beams are on back order so they won't be coming for a few weeks so the plan is to get all of the stacks knocked off tram matted chippings all these bays ready and prepped for when the beams do arrive so um, yeah we'll be getting a five or a seven ton digger in to help with that because we've got all of these piles of soil back here to uh, get rid of. So um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I think this might be a bit of a longer one because we got quite a lot done in this week. So, um, well, it's not a shame. It's quite good, you know, getting the job pushed on. But um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with the content as we are just entering the exciting phase of the job where we'll be getting the floors on and all of the external brickwork up so um yeah looking forward to that so um yeah thanks for watching and i'll uh, catch you next episode